But it's from Total War here, and today we've got a battle that looks like a disaster battle. But, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's, it's like a semi. And then we've got this army over here, which is like the makings of a Doom stack, but it's not finished, so I'm not going to raid it. So is this going to be a battle that showcases the Doom Wheels and see how effective they are against the Chaos Dwarves? Now, these are anti-infantry units that, honestly, I feel like should have a Warlock Engineer in here, especially because it increases the speed of these units, because they're classed as missile units, surprisingly enough. So... A Warlock Engineer or two, even if you don't use them on battle, you just withdraw them immediately. Uh, it can be really handy for them, so it doesn't have that. Anyway, let's just go in here, have some fun, and cause some mayhem. We've got a nuke that we can use. I don't think we need it. But I might use it anyway. <laughs> you know, if there's a nice big blob of infantry, why not? It's fun. You know, Order Resolve doesn't give us much hope. But that's okay. So I believe this is on very hard campaign difficulty, very hard battles with maximum cheats. So you'll see a balance of power bar. Now I reckon what we should try to do first is deal with the single entities that are going to be a problem. The Lord is going to be difficult to deal with because, like, like difficult to kill because he's flying and they're probably going to stay flying. This is also a missile unit. So what we want to be doing is luring away the Lamasu and the Bull Centaur Torok. If we can get them away, if we, like, one-on-one, -on -one, that thing will destroy our Doom Wheels very easily. But if we surround it, we might do okay that way. Because we've got missile attacks here, but honestly, they're not great against single entities either. So let's go in there. Cause us a little bit of mayhem. Just going to put some fast speed. Yeah, just go in there. Cause a bit of mayhem. Get their attention. And then try to lure them away. Because you don't want to be fighting a Bull Centaur Render. Uh, sorry, not Render. Bull Centaur Torok. While also... Here we go. I think we got their attention. While also their infantry and archers are attacking us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're slowing us down a fair bit with the smoke bomb. That's okay. Come on. Yeah, you can see that smashes us there. At least we've got their attention. Get them away a bit. Alright, maybe don't bother shooting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Not sure how much they want to... Doesn't seem like they want to leave too far away from the rest of their army. They don't have that many long-range units, so maybe I'll just have to stand and fight there. I don't have anything that can buff our units. Ideally, it would be good for Ica Claw to get in there and fight. Okay. Them popping this down isn't going to hurt us, but it would have been better if we could have gotten them to pop it down on their own troops. Yeah, that's, that's not good against single entities, but the AI doesn't understand that. Alright, we've completely got this Torok surrounded. And they are coming at us here with their infantry. This is really the best thing that you can do if you've got a type disadvantage. Try to surround the unit, so at least some of your units are hitting it in the rear. Try to keep this one here to these two, just to keep the infantry away just a little bit longer, because they're just about one here. Just get these fuckers off the battlefield. Okay, back off, back off, back off. He's firing at will. Like I said, don't be fighting their single entities amongst infantry, that gives them the advantage. Okay, another thing that we can do is, I was going to say, chase off that um, Lamasu, just get it off the battlefield, but it rallied. Thing is here, they're the attacker, why are they taking a defensive position? They don't have artillery. Yeah, the projectiles from the Doom Wheels, like, like they can do some damage to single entities, but they are definitely best used against infantry, because it pierces their units. So you do the damage multiple times over. That's it. Not seeing any great opportunities here for a nuke. It would just be a waste to use it right now. Ever since we first surrounded it, they're being a bit more cautious with their Torok unit there. Only wanting to engage when it's to their advantage, which makes sense. That's what they should be doing. Okay, 
Okay, but if we keep doing these hit and runs, I think we'll eventually get them. Yeah, that's kind of what we want to do with their ability there. Have them use it on themselves. There's various advantages and disadvantages to using Doom Wheels as opposed to weapons teams. You know, Doom Wheels are better for mobile units, so, so they're better against like mass amounts of infantry than... There we go, we got it. Get it off the battlefield now. Then the weapons team army would. But the weapons team army is is really good if you use it in an ambush situation. It's also really good to fight successive battles over and over again in a single turn because they don't take damage if used correctly, especially if you're the attacker. Whereas this army here, you pretty much have to go into melee. You can't just rely on their missile attack. That's, that's just a secondary attack. And so these guys get worn out a bit quicker than a weapons team army can be. However, Weapons Team Army is not good in defense. It's, it's an attacking army. You have to be the attacker. And so many times, I say this all the time, people are just using Weapons Team's army wrong all the time. They see me use and they're like, oh, Weapons Team Army is invincible. And then they try, they're like, oh my god, it sucks. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, okay, why not? Why not? Jeez, I nearly hit Ikakul with that. Guess he really wanted to sniff the warp stone. Because if it was a direct hit, he would have been killed. But likely it wasn't. Just missed him. Okay, the last of the monster single entities I think have been dealt with. Is that one leaving the battlefield? Last of their reinforcements should be showing up. Yep, yeah, there we go. Good. Get with them. So this is mainly for healing Ikit. But we don't have to use spells. We don't want to. Because, yeah, the thing is with the um, weapons team, right? They're, they're, they're good against infantry, don't get me wrong. But against mass amounts of infantry, they can just get bogged down just shooting it. Having to shoot too many targets. Whereas the Doom Wheels can just avoid avoid them quite easily. It doesn't matter if one of them gets into melee, whereas with a weapons team army, one of them gets into a melee and the whole whole thing falls apart very quickly. You have to keep the enemy at bay. So this is better to get into a disaster battle with than a um, weapons team army. However, if you're good with Skaven, you don't even get into disaster battles with your weapons teams because you're always attacking. You're always ambushing. There we go. This is causing absolute mayhem amongst their infantry. Can't do anything about this guy. But if he doesn't land, he will die. Actually, Ikit Claw, you should go into prolonged combat with this guy here because you can heal and the others can't. That way we can fix up our um, bounce of power a little bit. No point trying to hit this guy with any of these spells. What would have been good as well is if he got Flensing Ruin. Because that would have been alright against the single entities. Yeah. Alright, more enemy reinforcements are on the way. Let's go sort that out. Now it's about still not in our favor, but there's no more reinforcements after this, so I imagine this is where we sort of turn things around. great when they bomb their own units. Very scaven of them. Yeah, decent charge bonus on the Doom Wheels, so you want to be charging wherever possible. Even through cavalry. Light cavalry like this is fine, but if it's something like a Chaos Knight, you're going to have a hard time doing that. Yes, yes. Doom 
Good, just get him off the battlefield now. Let's just finish this off. Bounce of power is even. And if we maintain it at even, we'll actually end up winning. You don't have to get the bounce of power to here in order to win when you were originally badly outpowered, at least as far as what the game was concerned. In fact, I've managed to win battles before when the bounce of power wasn't in my favor just because the game's like, all right, you win. You fucked them really hard. Even though the bounce of power's not in your favor, you're going to win. Here you go. Have the win. How much damage are these archers doing to us? Not much. Okay, we're almost out of our Doom Wheel ammunition. We can see here we've gotten pretty good kills. I haven't really been focused on using our spells too much. Didn't feel like we really needed to. Okay, this one here is really struggling against this guy. Would have thought he'd be fine, but... Should try to avoid one-on-one -on -one fights wherever possible. Unless you've really got the advantage with that particular unit, which we didn't, apparently. Okay, now the Mount of Power is in our favor. Army losses should be any moment. There we go. There we go, and there we go. Cool, well, no units got wiped out. We're in reasonable shape. Ikka Claw can still heal. Second Wind Serum is definitely the way to go. Don't get too many save files where they've gone with Adrenaline, Adrenaline Rush instead. But yeah, you should always go with um, with Second Wind Serum. Because he's really good at the front line. Because he's got good resistance, decent melee defense. Especially considering this provides him with extra for a short amount of time. Cool. Heroic victory out of it as well. So, this kind of army here is definitely got its advantages, but by no means am I advocating for this over weapons team armies. Because if you're using a weapons team army, what you would do in this situation is you would attack this army and ambush it, and probably end up taking no damage whatsoever, because I would position my guys at the back of their army during the ambush and just annihilate these units here at the very beginning. And then these guys here would be in a complete scramble, and then the Plague Claw catapults would destroy them. And then these guys here are probably scrambling to get off the battlefield, so they're not using their abilities anyway. Whereas if you ambush with this army here, the results aren't going to be that different from whether or not you're actually just making a regular attack. So, different armies will perform differently depending on how you use them. But um, no way in hell saying that a Doom Wheel army is more effective than a um, Weapons Team army. Another thing to consider as well is that yeah, these units here are pretty damn expensive. If we have a look at Ikiklo, I believe he reduces the upkeep cost of... No, he doesn't reduce the upkeep cost of Doom Wheels. Right. What he can do here is just recruit them quicker and at higher rank. But yeah, there's nothing in here specifically that boosts Doom Wheels, so why give it to him? <laughs> it, yeah, it makes more sense to have just a regular Warlock Engineer do it, because I think they can get the, um, the Warp Stone trait. Let me just check this. Let's see if he's got one. That, um... Let me just see if he's got one. Uh, I don't have one here. Unless he's got one in reserve, let me just check. Oh, no, no, it wouldn't, wouldn't show up. But yeah, reduces the upkeep cost of those units, I think. I have so, rarely uh, so rarely recruit these units that... Not 100% sure, because yeah, I just 
to stick to weapon steams on me. If I want single entity monsters, I usually go with brood horrors because they are easier to get and I think I can get better results out of them because they can regenerate. So with Skaven, you tend to have a lot of enemies because everyone fucking hates you, which is good. You want that to be happening because everyone, more battles means more food. You just, they're just, it's just like food delivery service. Uh, but you want armies that are able to destroy an enemy army and then immediately afterwards destroy another enemy army. If you can get those kind of armies, that really benefits the Skaven. That way you don't need loads of armies, you just need a couple of really good ones. And that's why I, re I really advocate for the Weapons Team armies. But with the Weapons Team army, you really need to be the attacker. And this sort of army here, it doesn't matter if you're the attacker or the defender that much. We were the attacker in that situation there, but we didn't ambush them. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Um, it's up to you which way you want to go. Whether you want to use uh, Doom Wheels or Weapons Teams, it comes down to your playstyle. I do much better, I feel like, with Weapons Teams than I do with Doom Wheels, and that's why I use them. Anyway, that's in this one. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.